for daily ask reddit lucid dreamers of reddit what is it like to lucid dream it's largely feels as real as being awake but you can do whatever you like the world is not very stable things can change exactly that so be careful what you do when lucid dreaming this is important to remember i've gotten lost while lucid dreaming and the fear of not being able to find my way back turned it into a nightmare that lost theme happens for me as well and i struggle to control it during the lucid dream that is seriously my biggest lucid dream issue hmm i found that whenever the lost theme begins my only options are to abort the dream entirely or helplessly spiral down into it it manifests in different ways too Sometimes I'm lost in a maze, sometimes I get lost in my thoughts and have to backtrack back to sanity, etc. I've always been able to just wake myself up, but I fear the day when the toe wiggle technique fails me. There's different levels of lucidity, like sometimes it's just that one moment of clarity when you realize things aren't real and then you get lost in the dream again. Sometimes you realize and you hold on to it in focus. It takes effort to be able to do really cool shit and keep full awareness. Most often when I've become lucid I've flown. I realize I'm dreaming and immediately start messing around with trying to fly. Sometimes I couldn't quite get off the ground. I remember once I couldn't fly. So I picked up a coke can and held it above my head and imagined it lifting me and it worked. But after a while of flying I would just get lost in the dream again. So sometimes I tried to just focus in on the dream itself. Take everything in and just concentrate on being alert in the dream not trying to do anything. Flying is a real common one for me too. I make conscious repeated efforts to flap my newfound invisible wings or arms to lift off. It's awesome when I get it right but usually takes a few attempts to hone in on I'm lucid. I can do this. For me personally it's kind of frustrating. I don't have them very often, but when I do, I never have as much control as I would like to. I'm still just along for the ride instead of creating scenarios. This was the problem I had, and I found associating abilities with items you frequently have on your person helps. I haven't left the house without my keys in decades, so even in my dreams I have them. I began reminding myself, keys open doors and now when I'm dreaming, and don't like where I might just unlock the nearest door, and it takes me somewhere else. Eventually it will become divorced from the item and you'll just go places. I was going to comment something similar. People assume you're painting with a full array of colors, while my experience has been much more limited. I'm able to make my own decisions freely, but a huge portion is very confined to whatever is happening. They generally seem much longer than standard dreams. There always seems to be one or two things I absolutely cannot change, which end up being the thing I want to change most. I've also experienced a lot of stomach dropping sensations, as if I were on a small roller coaster. Kinda cool but also kind of annoying, because sometimes you literally cannot figure out if something happened in your dream or I roll, because it's just that real, so it can literally feel like a memory sometimes. I used to lose a dream nightly. At some point I was starting to have problems remembering what had happened in real life versus in dreams. There were times where I honestly just didn't know. Eventually I decided there was no way that was healthy and slowly forced myself to stop lucid dreaming. I still have some occasional ones, but it is rare. Interesting that you say forcing yourself to stop, because in my case I actually had always tried. I looked up all these tips on how to do it, and never could, and then I was just randomly able to years later. I was diagnosed with insomnia and the meds that I take for sleep probably play a role in it, idk if it's just a deeper sleep that causes it, since I'm on meds idk, but that's interesting you could make yourself stop. I can redescen things at will with my mind. It is amazing. Fabulous. I look at a room or house that I've never owned and then have a thought that it would be nicer if then suddenly things are morphing to that. I also revisit the same place several times over the span of months or years and continue to mind paint. It could be a scenario where I decide this isn't right or not the way I'd do this and it changes, flexes with me. These are incredible dreams and I love them dearly, though they don't happen super often. Incredibly liberating, satisfying, inspiring, moving. I try to do that, but I can't control anything or anyone. 
I have whole made up neighborhoods that I revisit sometimes. Then there is the scary dream that I'm at a large university. It's like Cambridge or Oxford. No, I haven't read or seen Harry Potter, but that is some Hogwarts stuff there. But I'm always lost or don't belong. So it's really scary for some reason. And the rooms are all huge. Most of time I dream that I have to sort my belongings, a house filled with stuff, or a large department store type place, and I'm supposed to leave, but I keep losing things or misplacing them and looking everywhere. I know it's not normal to have a theme that runs through every single dream, but I've had enough psychotherapy thanks.